picking the flat pick that you like is your own personal preference and it's also a journey. I know that over the course of my playing I've gravitated from a more thin pick to a thicker pick and I, I find that most people that start to play like the thinner picks because they're easier to hold. They don't come out of your hand as easy and uh, while you're learning how to get the touch and the nuance required to hold a flat pick, the thinner picks are easier. But as you play, generally with acoustic guitars, you're going to gravitate toward a thicker pick. And that's not the only variable that we think about in flat picks. Yes, we think about the, the thickness of the pick. We also think about the shape. Uh, you have your triangle picks, you have your uh, large, or your teardrop picks, your large triangles, your rounded shapes. And then we also think about the material too. So, you know, we range from plastics to shells, to imitation shells, to even trade secret type materials like this blue chip. Uh, but just generally, I'm not doing an official A-B test here, but generally I wanted you to hear the difference in some of these picks. Here's a, one of the thinnest picks I could find. This is left over from my touring days with, with Taylor. These are the guitar picks we'd throw out to the, to the Taylor Swift crowds each night. Uh, it's got Taylor's face on it there. No offense, Taylor, but uh, I'm not a fan of this pick too much. Um, it's quite brittle. It doesn't really bring out what the uh, guitar is capable of. I think you might can hear this. But the big click clack sound so you get a lot of pick noise according you know compared to guitar noise okay now let me immediately switch to the same shape a little bit thicker pick from my good buddy at hook manlin It? it doesn't have as much as that click clack. It's getting a little bit more of the guitar tone out of it. Cool. If I move on, I've got this. Uh, this is interesting. It's a Golden Gate rounded edge. A lot of people use these for mandolins. They're quite easy to tremolo with, and it's a little bit thicker, a little bit uh, different material, more of a cellulose type material. And listen to the tone this gets. Quite mellow, right? And, and that's what you're going to get with more of a rounded edge because it's not going to grab that string and really pop it like the others. Okay, so desirable in some instances. Um, I wouldn't necessarily choose that to bring out this Martin's tone. Uh, I've got a blue chip here, a large triangle. This is a Tad 50. Um, so it's got kind of a rounded edge, but still a bit of a point that can provide some attack on these strings. This isn't a blue chip endorsement, so to speak. They make great picks. I sell a lot of them, but I just enjoy a thicker pick with more of a rounded edge. I like a lot of surface area, a good material. It's not too click clacky. So as you're you know, traveling down your guitar journey, if you're playing with a really thin pick, if you've been playing for a while and you think, gosh, I've never even tried out other picks, or um, you know, my guitar does sound a little thin, might you consider going to a thicker pick maybe a different size, a different shape, a different thickness. It will take a little while for you to learn how to keep it in your fingers. That's okay. Um, that's part of the journey there as well. But main thing is to experiment because most of these picks, these are a bit expensive, but most of these picks that I carry in the store, they are quite affordable. And you can buy a whole allotment of different kinds of pick materials, thicknesses, shapes, you know, for eight or 10 bucks and really dive down into what your particular instrument's like and what you prefer as well. And then once you get a better idea of what you like, you can begin to spend more money if you want on a pick that's in that category. So I hope this is helpful to you. Keep picking.